Kwame Jackson, Good to talk see you. to me about Together. Together is a movement and it is a PAC and it is a B Corporation. Our mission is to empower Gen Z voters, build the next generation of leadership, and give them the tools that they need to organize and fund the causes that they care about. So we're really aiming to be the Rock the Vote 2.0 movement for Gen Z in this generation. We're excited. Yeah, so for us, it was about knowing that Gen Z was gonna be a vital part of this election, and if you combine them with the millennial vote, they represent almost 50% of the electorate in this particular election. So we knew that, you know, for for my generation, I'm Gen X, right? And it's like, we had that rock the vote movement, we had celebrity culture infused, we had a platform to share, and there really wasn't someone doing that in the Gen Z space. We One thing that we realized about Gen Z is, they don't affiliate with political parties the way traditionally we have. So whether it's Gen X or, um, you know, I'm a Democrat, I'm a Republican, I'm an independent, they see things through the lenses of causes. So it's more about, hey, I am pro-environmentalism, I am anti-gun violence, I am pro-women's rights. And so once you find the cause that they care about, we're about amplifying that organizing that and funding that and building what we call cause champions. But our vision is to build out a LinkedIn for politics and causes for Gen Z, where you can find your light community, connect with the people you care about, find the causes you care about, get in local organizations that support them, and then actually fund different initiatives as well. So think about that as a broader mobile-based platform that we're building out for 2025. We try to build civil discourse, and we want people to understand that you can disagree without being disagreeable. And so, you know, this whole notion of politics has to be toxic, it has to be confrontational, we're not opposed to have ideas that confront each other, but it doesn't mean the people necessarily have to be hostile towards one another. So we want to build out what we call a stronger middle, turn down the noise on the left, turn down the noise on the right, and turn up the volume in the middle and build that purple power around consensus real innovation is driven by the fact that people can engage in conscious capitalism and have more than just profit seeking. What we found with Gen Z is there's a real focus on purpose driven leadership in terms of the businesses they align with and the businesses and brands they support as well as feeling like there's fulfillment at work, right? It's not like you're going to get all the fulfillment from work, but people don't want to be at an enterprise where it's just hollow. Like I want to be working towards a broader mission. My message of hope for Gen Z is really understanding that you can be the change that you're seeking, that there is enough power in numbers out there, just like the baby boomers shaped a lot of the business and political environment that you saw because of the power of numbers. Now, Gen Z and the millennials combined are becoming that major generation in corporate America, that major generation in politics. My message of hope is you guys have the number, you create the rules, you make the changes you want to see. And Gen X and Boomers and those folks, we're here to empower you because we believe that, you know, the ball's in your court and you can make the changes that you want to see.